The following demonstration tape on TI Logo is being presented by the Oakland Computer Club of Oakland, Maine, narrated by its advisor, Eunice Spooner. We will be learning how to use the module TI Logo or TI Logo 2. In order to use that module, you will need the TI 994A console with the memory expansion along with the module. The memory expansion can be 32K standalone, it can be the 32K in a peripheral expansion box, or it can use, be used with the 9900 micro expansion system. Presently, I am using the 9900 micro expansion system with two disk drives connected to it. This is the beginning screen that I get. There are a few differences between the module TI Logo and TI Logo 2. These few differences will be pointed out as we go along. In order to use the TI Logo 2 module, we press number 3 on this screen, because that is the number before TI Logo 2. We wait a few moments until the screen says, Welcome to TI Logo. We will start from the very beginning of TI Logo, learning a few of the commands that it, uh, the, the program uses. I volunteer three days a week in an elementary school teaching first, second, and third graders how to use the TI Logo program. So you can tell that I am used to talking to young children. I hope I do not make these instructions too elementary. TI Logo is based on using a imaginary turtle with inside a triangle. You may give this imaginary turtle within a triangle directions. What is special about this triangle with the imaginary turtle is that it has a pen. And when you move this triangle or the turtle, it can make a line with the turtle. So let's get the turtle on the screen so that we can tell the turtle some instructions. In order to do this, we type the word tell, make a space, and put the word turtle. And press enter. You will see that the question mark is now down in the lower quarter of the screen. This is where we will write the command when we use TI Logo. If you are using the TI Logo 2 module, you may type the word big in order to see a larger triangle. This is one of the differences between the TI Logo and the TI Logo 2. With the plain or the original TI Logo, big does not work. If you look closely, you can see the turtle is headed towards the top of the screen. or north. In order to move the turtle, we must learn the words that the turtle understands. One of the words that the turtle understands is forward, and we may abbreviate it with the beginning and ending sound of forward. Forward beginning with an F and ending with a D, and we make a space. Now if I told you to go forward, you would not know how many steps take forward, and neither does the turtle. So we can type in 40 and press enter, and the turtle will go forward 40 turtle steps. So we have already learned one word that the turtle understands. It does not understand up, because if the turtle were on a horizontal plane or on the floor, there would be no such thing as up or down. 
Now another thing that the turtle can do is to turn its head. It can make a right turn or it can make a left turn. When you turn your head, you do not take any steps. All you do is turn your head. And the same is true with the turtle. So we can make a right turn, right beginning with R and turn beginning with T, and make a space. Again, the turtle does not know how far to turn its head to the right. I explain to the students that a square corner is a right turn or a left turn of 90. For those of you who know a little bit more about geometry, you will recall that there are 360 degrees in a circle. So that a turn of 90 is a turn of 90 degrees. This program may be used with older students to get them more familiar with some terms, especially in the subject area of geometry. So we will make a right turn of 90 and press enter. And you will see that now the turtle is headed towards the east. Again, we may make the turtle go forward. Last time we went forward 40 turtle steps and saw how many, uh, the length of that line. Let's make it go forward more and see what maybe 75 turtle steps would be. You will see that the turtle did make this square corner and went forward 70 degrees, a uh, se uh, 75 turtle steps, pardon me. Now, when I teach this at school, I have a chart on the bulletin board above the computer that has eight triangles. The four large ones are headed north, south, east, and west and are of different colors. Four smaller ones are placed in between. They are headed northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. This gives the students an idea of the re relationship as to whether they sh the turtle should make a left turn or a right turn as the triangles are labeled which is the left side and which is the right side. A turtle that is headed east easterly has its left side towards the top of the screen. So if we made a left turn space, and let's choose an angle that is less than 90. The students do not need to know about the 360 degrees in a circle. They can think of it as a relative term. If they don't want it to turn as much as a square corner of 90, then they choose a number that is less than 90. If they want it to turn more than 90, then they choose a number that is greater. So let's make it 57. So we are making a left turn of 57, and actually it's 57 degrees. And the turtle is headed in a northeasterly direction. The opposite of forward is back back beginning with a B and ending with a K, followed by a space. And we can put in a number for the turtle steps to go backward. So let's go back 26. Now the turtle will go back 26 turtle steps when we press enter. And you will see that the turtle is drawing with its tail. That's why the pointed part is still on the line. But the turtle did go back 26 turtle steps. For the first lesson with the first, second, and third graders, I give them plenty of time to experiment with those four terms that we have just used. The four commands are being forward FD, back BK, right turn RT, and left.